Hey guys, I sound like a chain smoker. <clears throat> I have a guest today. Hello. <laughs> so on today's agenda, wow, I sound terrible. I think people are gonna click off within the first five seconds. You just. On today's agenda, we're <laughs> heading to. Should I make it a surprise for a little longer? Okay. See a Pensky <laughs> skirt. <laughs> we're gonna get Chick Fil A first, and then Starbucks maybe. Yes. And then I'll let you guys know where we're going. You can probably tell by the title. I haven't decided what the title is, but I can say it was really spontaneous. Okay, Chick Fil A time. Mm. Their coffee is so good. I literally sound like a smoker. Hello. I got a chicken biscuit and some hash browns. I feel like this entire video is just gonna be food. I see nothing wrong with that. They're pretty good. Are they? I think the last time I had Chick fil A breakfast is when I moved here. Yeah, that's all for this segment. <clears throat> Stopped by a little random mall and I bought this little jacket and changed into some jeans. What's up? I did half an hour. So like I said, we stopped at a mall. I got this jacket at H&M, changed into some jeans because I was wearing leggings. And now we're going to the Little Forks Market, which the Forks, I guess, has like a bunch of restaurants and shops and stuff. And then also there's a really cool bridge over the river and this really cool museum, which I'll show you guys clips and stuff, of course. Get that B-roll. I mentioned that I wanted to do more travel vlogs, so here's the beginning of some travel content. We did get an Airbnb, but it isn't open until four o'clock, so it's 2.03 right now, but. All right, Cole is waiting to pay for parking and we're gonna head out. and we've been doing nothing. We've been watching Friends and I sound horrible. It's getting worse. We are gonna go eat some ramen and get some Canadian snacks to try. And that's it. Okay, we just stopped at um, co-op and got some goodies for snacks to try and then got some wine because you know wine's definitely not gonna help my throat but that's okay and then I'm admiring this beautiful sign we are at Elfie's noodle house because I'm gonna get some little noodles from my throat that sign oh it's so beautiful I think it's a baboon 
I think it's a puka. Did you fart? No. <laughs> Good morning. I slept like actual butt last night. I slept great. Yeah. We're gonna go get coffee and food and then head home. Yeah. I need some medicine. Bye. Stopped and got coffee at Tome Bargin or something. I don't know how you pronounce it. But they have really cute pink cups and their littler ones are teal and it's super aesthetically pleasing in there. Great place to go. How's your Americano? Cold. Look good. Should be cold. So I'm back home at my apartment. The last thing I vlogged was right after we crossed the US border and then we just finished the rest of the drive back and we went to Target, got some groceries. Then we came here and watched Indiana Jones and we also tried some of the little candies that we bought from um, the co-op or whatever. I think that's the grocery store name. Sorry if I got it wrong. But we tried some of the candies and ketchup chips, of course. They actually sell all dressed chips in America, or at least they used to for a while, and they are super good. I kept the candy bars, so I wanted to show you guys quickly before I end the video what ones I got. I just wanted to say I'm so sorry that my voice sounds so awful. Unfortunately, I got hit with a cold on Wednesday, and I just knew that it was coming. I woke up feeling like I swallowed a handful of razors. Okay, not actually, but I woke up and my throat was feeling really sore, and then my cold really picked up on Friday so we had already booked the trip on Sunday like last Sunday while I was at work and I was like you know I'll still go like it'll still be fun and we'll still have a good time and I just wanted to be able to say like I've been to Canada because I had never been unfortunately with school and work it's hard for both of us to kind of correlate times to travel but yeah we still want to like experience the world and experience different um not necessarily like cultures because Canada is pretty similar to the US in a few aspects but I just want to be able to say like I've been to other places and I've been able to explore them and experience them I guess so it was really cool to go to the forks and stuff that was a beautiful little area it reminds me a lot of Haunt City Market kind of reminds me of the forks market but anyway I am really warm. It is like 74 degrees in my apartment, so I'm about to crack a window really quick. I should have asked my Canadian friends which ones to buy, but these were ones that I had never seen in the US, so I thought, why not? I've tried the Crunchy and the Wonder Bar so far, and I really like them. Oh, I think I also tried the O. Henry, and that one's just like okay, but I really like these two. I feel like I'm definitely gonna like this one, but yeah, those are the candies that we got because we wanted to try something new. Let me know if you guys like travel type of content like this. I personally really enjoy it and I would like to start incorporating more of it into my channel because it's something that I really enjoy filming and watching and just creating in general. So I really wanna start doing things that I enjoy, you know? I am going to Mexico in two weeks. I'm so excited. So I'm definitely kind of brainstorming different ideas for content while I'm there. I think since I've started on YouTube, I've done vlogs while I've gone to Mexico and it's always so much fun for myself to even look back on and just like see how different my life was even like three years ago. It's just crazy. Definitely going to be documenting that trip just for myself and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a new video very soon. Thank <laughs> you.